I talked to the CEO, Yachik Olchik, earlier today about the results and how the company plans to navigate all these supply chain issues. I actually believe this results would have been better if not this uh, issues which we have around the supply chain, you know, the semiconductor shortages, etc. I think our our wings could have been spanned much broader, if not the issues which we have around the around the supply chain. So you know, we'll see how does it unfold towards the end of this year, what's going to happen at the beginning of the next year. But overall, I'm very optimistic about the ICOs, uh, ICOs very, very bright uh, future. It's interesting. You don't typically think of tobacco companies being affected by the chip shortage. Explain how that works and just how severe it's impacting you. Well, it does start having an impact as we cannot really conduct the full commercial competitive activities that we would wish to, to do it. So we need to prioritize. We obviously focus on the retention, i.e. smokers who have successfully switched to ICOS. As ICOS has the highest conversion rates, well above the 70%, you know, measured in a way that, you know, the smokers don't go back after converting to ICOS, don't go back to cigarettes. It's very important that they have a continuity of the supply of the device. Otherwise, you know, we would put them in a very uncomfortable situation. So, uh, if, uh, you know, this is a device. It has an electronics. There is all issues around the battery safeties, you know. So we really paid a lot of attention that this device is as safe as possible, and it is. And it offers this wonderful uh, experience to, to smokers that they are willing to give up smoking fully and uh, to switch to ICO. So, yes, it has an electronics. We also, you know, five or so years ago, didn't think that we've been uh, that one day will be so much dependent on electronics, but here we are. But this electronics actually yeah. serves very well, serves very well the, the the smokers. So, what are you hearing from your chip suppliers about how long it's going to last? Well, I wish I could hear more because we're living at the time when, frankly speaking, you don't hear much of the chip suppliers because the visibility of the supply chain has been shortened so much these days. I mean, normally you operate with the visibility of the two, three plus months, and uh, you know we're operating now the business when you have a visibility measured in a weeks if you if you're lucky. So you know we are not the only industry. As you said, maybe not the obvious industry, but we are not the only industry being impacted by this. But I do believe that we'll ensure that the converted users will have a continuity of a supply. How do you plan to combat that decision to get ICOs back on the shelves in the U.S.? And, and when do they officially come off the shelves? Well, I mean, the presidential review period ends uh, at the end of uh, November, and I hope uh, at the end of October, sorry, so I hope that, uh, uh, you know, we will uh, receive that, you know, a positive voice, if you like, or positive outcomes from the, from the administration. Uh, we're also working on the contingency plans So, uh, for example, one of these plans is, you know, how to make the manufacturing locally, manufacturing of ICOs locally in the U.S. That obviously, you know, requires a bit of a lead time. Are there any health concerns emerging around products like ICOs, the heat not burn products? Well, we're monitoring very closely in the markets when we launch, launch ICOs, but there are any adverse effects and, you know, and the data points collected in these markets are being, you know, submitted on a regular basis or reported on a regular basis to FDA, uh, despite the fact that FDA doesn't as such have, you know, jurisdictions over international, but we do believe that FDA should know about what is happening with the products and there is nothing really happening okay because it's seven years in a marketplace quite actually opposite we start observing the positive changes at the populations at large